BTR-90 is an 8A, 8-wheeled armored personal carrier developed in Russia, designed in 1993 and first shown publicly in 1994. It is a larger version of the BTR-80 vehicle, fitted with a BMP-2 turret. Armor protection is improved compared with the BTR-80, giving protection from 14.5 mm projectiles over the frontal arc. It is armed with a 2A42 30mm auto cannon, a coaxial 7.62mm PKT machine gun, an AT5 Spandrel ATGM, as well as an AGS 1730mm automatic grenade launcher. Limited numbers have been produced and are in service with Russian internal troops. In October 2011, the Ministry of Defense refused to buy the BTR-90 and did not include them in the list of the state program of armament until 2020, and waived exports for the BTR-90. Development The development of the BTR-90 was carried out at the Arzalmas Machine Building Plant, a subsidiary of the GAZ Joint Stock Company. Development commenced in the early 90s, with the first prototype completed and displayed to the public in 1994. The vehicle was intended to be used by mechanized units of the Russian Army, as well as marine units of the Russian Navy, as a vehicle for providing fire support, transportation of personnel, surveillance, reconnaissance, and patrolling tasks. A wide range of vehicles suiting various requirements can be developed on the basis of the BTR-90 chassis. The vehicle is designed to be highly mobile and maneuverable in all terrains, while providing a high level of protection for its crew and passengers. The BTR-90 is fitted with a gun turret identical to the one used on the BMP-2. Description: The BTR-90 has a pointed nose, somewhat similar to that of the LAV-25. The hull is made of welded steel armor plate, and is slightly larger and higher than the BTR-80, from which it is developed. A turbocharged, liquid-cooled, multi-fuel diesel engine is used, which can develop 510 bhp. The vehicle has eight-wheel drive and has an automatic reversible hydromechanical transmission, which is capable of providing different speeds to each side of the vehicle. Duplicated electrical and compressed air engine start systems are also used. The wheels are utilized with independent torsion bar suspension and the traverse arms have high-capacity telescopic hydraulic shock absorbers. Communication equipment installed in the BTR-90 include an R163-50U radio set for external communications, an R163UP receiver, and an R174 intercom device for communication between the crew members. Equals layout equals, the layout and positioning of equipment and parts in the BTR-90 is similar to those of the BTR-80 and BTR-80A. The commander and gunner are accommodated in a fighting compartment in the turret. This compartment also houses a BPKZ-42 gunner's day-night sight and a 1P-13 commander's optical sight. Optionally, a BPKZ-15 thermal imaging sight can be fitted in this compartment as the gunner's sight. The driver is located somewhat to the middle of the hull, just in front of the turret. The troop compartment is located behind the driver's position and the turret. The engine compartment is at the rear of the hull. Hatches are provided on the top of the turret and hull, and side doors are available on the middle of the vehicle. These are designed to allow quick dismounting and boarding of troops even while the vehicle is on the move. The eight wheels are located as two sets, with two pairs at the front of the hull and two pairs at the rear. Split side doors are located between these two sets of wheels. The two forward pairs of wheels are utilized with power steering. Equals capabilities and features equals, the BTR-90 is capable of achieving a maximum speed of 100 km per hour, and has cross-country driving ability comparable to that of tracked vehicles, with an average speed of 50 km per hour. The vehicle is fully amphibious and can negotiate water obstacles without any preparation. Two water jet propellers power the vehicle in water, and it can achieve a maximum speed of 9 km per hour. It can enter and be deployed from amphibious assault ships from the water. The BTR-90 can be deployed by truck, rail and also by water and air transportation means. Its hydromechanical transmission helps to increase its maneuverability by providing different speeds to each side of the vehicle. This allows the BTR-90 to have a low turning radius of 6 m. 
when turning with only the front four wheels, it has a turning radius of 14 m. It can cross up to 2.1 m wide trenches and can negotiate 60% gradients, 30% side slopes and 0.8 m vertical steps. The vehicle has an inner capacity of 12 cubic meters, and can carry a load of 7,000 kilograms. An air conditioning system can be added optionally. The commander has the ability to carry out all-round surveillance and can take full control of the weapons from the gunner. An board information control system enables automatic control over the transmission, engine and other important parts of the BTR-90, and it is the first armored personnel carrier to have such a system. A centralized tire pressure control system is also available, and allows the vehicle to move even if four of its wheels are destroyed. Equals armor and protection equals, the armor of the BTR-90 comprises welded steel armor plates. The armor can withstand hits from 14.5 mm rounds over the frontal arc. The side armor can provide protection against large caliber machine gun fire and shrapnel. Additional armored plates can be installed on the vehicle to increase protection. Active protection methods can also be used, such as explosive reactive armor. These can be added over the existing armor of the vehicle. To increase protection, periscopes are installed instead of wind screens and vision blocks. Collective NBC protection is available which can protect the occupants from shock waves and penetrating radiation from nuclear attacks, radioactive dust, and bacteriological and chemical weapons. Its combat tires are capable of enduring anti-personal mine explosions and small arms fire. If the vehicle is damaged while afloat, a drainage system is capable of removing incoming water. The BTR-90 also features an automatic firefighting system, and a system for remote laying of smoke screens. The smoke discharge system includes six smoke grenade launchers, three on each side of the vehicle. Equals armament equals, the main gun of the BTR-90 is a 30mm Shippenod 2A42 autocannon. The vehicle carries an ammunition load of 500 rounds for this weapon. A 7.62mm PKT coaxial machine gun with 2,000 rounds and a 30mm AGS-17 automatic grenade launcher are the secondary armaments of the BTR-90. A guided missile system is also available for engaging armored targets. This consists of four 85 Spandrel missiles mounted on the turret. The launching unit is detachable, and can be used to launch missiles from the ground. All the weapons are mounted on the turret and are assisted by a fire control system. The fire control system allows the weapons to be used while the vehicle is moving, and in all weather conditions. The turret can be traversed 360 degrees with an elevation range of a 5 to plus 75 degrees. The vehicle's weaponry allows it to engage targets at ranges up to 4 km. Helicopters and fortifications can be engaged at ranges up to 2.5 km. In addition to the vehicle a Euro unregistered trademark S weapons, its occupants have the ability to fire their weapons through available firing ports and hatches, increasing its firepower. Variants A prototype designated BTR 90M was built with a larger turret derived from the BMP 3, mounting a coaxial low velocity 2A70 100mm rifled gun missile launcher system, such as AT 10 Stabber a 30mm Shippenod 2A-72 cannon, and a 7.62mm PKT machine gun. The BTR-90M was first displayed publicly in 2001, and is not currently in service. Another variant of the BTR-90 was produced with a low-pressure 120mm 2S-9 on a weapon, as with the BTR-18 on the SVK. Equals KRYMSK equals on July 30, 2013, Russia revealed that it had developed and tested a hybrid-powered silent armored personnel carrier that could be turned into an unmanned ground vehicle. Called the KRYMSK, it is based on the BTR-90 and can move silently on a battery-driven electric motor when its diesel engine is turned off. Currently, it can only move short distances on electric power, but new types of batteries can increase the distances by dozens of times. During tests, the KRYMSK moved at a maximum speed of 97 km per hour, accelerating to 80 km per hour in 33 seconds.
The KRYMSK is a remotely controlled platform and can be equipped with weapon systems, including future laser or electromagnetic weapons. Gallery. See also, VBM Frixia, FNSS PARS. References. External links. 1. Manufacturer site, BTR90 description and pictures to Army Recognition Site, FAS page.